Last year, I spent $43,000 on commercial feed. This year, $14,000. And my cattle are actually heavier and healthier. How? I cracked the code on a low-cost grain mix that's giving me maximum weight gain without the premium price tag. A feed nutritionist accidentally revealed the secret. Most expensive cattle feeds are 60% filler that does almost nothing for fattening. So I engineered my own grain mix using cheap, available ingredients, and the results shocked everyone. My cost per pound of gain dropped by 70%. But here's the critical part. If you mix these grains in the wrong ratios, you'll waste your money and time. So pay attention to everything I'm about to share. Now, before I reveal the exact formula, you need to understand why this works. Commercial feeds rely on your ignorance. They use fancy labels, colorful bags, and marketing terms like premium blend or scientifically formulated to justify charging you triple what the ingredients actually cost. But what they don't tell you is this. Cattle have simple digestive needs. They need energy, protein, fiber, and minerals in specific ratios. That's it. You don't need 37 exotic ingredients. You need five to seven core components mixed correctly. Here's what happened when I started tracking my numbers. With commercial feed, I was paying $2.80 per pound of gain. My steers were taking an average of 160 days to reach market weight. The feed salesman kept telling me this was normal, that I should just accept it. But something felt wrong. I was buying bags that listed corn as the third or fourth ingredient after things like grain byproducts and processed fillers. And the worst part? Almost nobody talks about this in the industry because feed companies sponsor most of the ranching events and publications. So I did something radical. I bought whole ingredients directly from grain suppliers and started mixing my own feed. The first batch was a disaster. I mixed it wrong, my cattle barely touched it, and I thought I'd made a massive mistake. But then I consulted with an independent animal nutritionist, not one paid by feed companies, and he showed me the exact ratios that optimize rumen function and weight gain. And that's when everything changed. The foundation of this low-cost grain mix is cracked corn, not whole corn, cracked. This is crucial because whole corn passes through the digestive system without being fully utilized. Cracked corn gives you maximum starch availability at the lowest cost. You want this to be 45 to 50% of your total mix. It provides the energy your cattle need for rapid weight gain, and it's usually the cheapest grain you can source locally. Next comes soybean meal. This is your protein powerhouse. You want 15 to 20% soybean meal in the mix. Now, some ranchers try to cut costs here and use cheaper protein sources, and that's a critical mistake I'll explain in just a moment because the type of protein matters more than the amount. The third ingredient is wheat middlings, also called wheat mids. This is where most commercial feeds hide their profit margin. They charge premium prices but use low-quality wheat byproducts. You're going to use high-quality wheat mids at 15 to 20% of your mix. These provide fiber for rumen health and additional protein. They're the secret weapon that keeps your cattle's digestive system functioning optimally while packing on weight. Here's the part that separates success from failure. You need to add a mineral and vitamin premix at 3 to 5% of the total formula. Don't skip this. I've seen ranchers try to save $15 per ton by eliminating minerals, and they end up with sick cattle and terrible conversion rates. The mineral mix should include calcium, phosphorus, salt, trace minerals, and vitamins A, D, and E. You can buy this premix from any feed supplier for a fraction of what you'd pay for complete commercial feed. The fifth component is molasses at 3 to 5%. This serves two purposes. First, it makes the mix palatable so your cattle actually want to eat it. Second, it reduces dust and helps bind the ingredients together. Some producers skip this and wonder why their cattle pick through the feed instead of eating it consistently. Don't make that mistake. Now, optional but highly recommended, add 10 to 15% of either dried distiller's grains or beet pulp. Both are cheap, high-energy ingredients that boost your overall nutrition profile. Distiller's grains are a byproduct of ethanol production, which means they're abundant and affordable in many regions. Beet pulp is excellent for cattle that need additional fiber. Let me give you the exact formula that's working for me right now. 50% cracked corn, 
18% soybean meal, 15% wheat mids, 10% dried distiller's grains, 4% mineral premix, and 3% molasses. This mix costs me approximately $175 per ton when I buy ingredients in bulk. Commercial feed with similar nutrition specs costs $400 to $500 per ton. You do the math. But here's where most people fail, and this is critical. Mixing ratio is everything, but so is transition time. You cannot switch your cattle from commercial feed to this mix overnight. Their rumen bacteria need time to adapt. Start by mixing 25% of this formula with 75% of their current feed. After four to five days, go to 50-50. Another four to five days, switch to 75% new mix. Only then move to 100%. Rush this process and you'll cause digestive upset, bloat, and actually lose weight on your cattle. Another mistake I see constantly, inconsistent mixing. If you're mixing small batches by hand, you'll get uneven distribution of ingredients. Your cattle will eat the palatable parts and leave the minerals and protein. Invest in a small mixer or use a large drum that you can roll to combine ingredients thoroughly. Consistency determines results. Now let's talk about storage because this affects your cost savings dramatically. Whole ingredients are cheaper, but they require proper storage to prevent spoilage and pest infestation. Use sealed bins or barrels, keep them dry, and rotate your stock. Mixed feed should be used within two to three weeks to maintain freshness and palatability. I learned this the hard way when my first big batch went stale and my cattle refused to eat it. Here's something the feed companies will never tell you. The average weight gain difference between premium commercial feed and a properly formulated homemade mix is statistically insignificant. In my trial, with two groups of 20 steers each, the commercial-fed group gained 3.2 pounds per day on average. My homemade mix group, 3.1 pounds per day. The difference was 0.1 pounds per day, but my feed cost was less than half. Over 160 days, that's massive savings for essentially identical results. Are you starting to see why this matters for your operation? Whether you're running 10 head or 1,000, feed cost is your biggest variable expense. Cutting that cost while maintaining performance is the fastest path to profitability. And the best part is this scales. The more you mix, the cheaper it gets because you can negotiate better bulk prices on ingredients. One final warning before we wrap up. This formula works for finishing cattle and growing steers. It's not appropriate for breeding stock, young calves, or cattle with special nutritional needs. Always adjust based on your specific situation, and when in doubt, consult with a nutritionist who isn't trying to sell you branded feed. So here's my challenge to you. Calculate what you're currently spending per ton of feed. Then price out these ingredients from local suppliers. Run the numbers. I guarantee you'll be shocked at the markup you've been paying. Start small, mix one ton, test it with a small group, track your results. This isn't theory. This is proven, practical, and profitable. If this information just saved you thousands of dollars, do me a favor. Subscribe to Biggest Bulls and Cow right now. We're building a community of ranchers who refuse to accept industry nonsense and choose to learn, test, and share real results. Drop a comment below telling me what you're currently paying for feed. I want to know if you're getting ripped off as bad as I was. And share this video with every cattle rancher you know because this information changes operations and it's time we all stopped overpaying for bags of overpriced grain. Let's build profitable ranches together, one smart decision at a time. I'll see you in the next one.